Hey you guys. So in this video I am going to be tapping and scratching through a little shoe and purse shop. I am on a really busy street so you're going to hear lots of street sounds in Egypt and honking galore. <laughs> Um, but yeah, hopefully the consistency of it will just blend into the background a bit. But um, these shoes are really cool. We could see them from the window and just could see like some unique designs of purses and shoes. So I hope that you enjoy. And yes, the Quran is being read in the background, if you hear that. Uh, some shops have the Quran being read like that in the background. It's fairly common. The thing that was really special about this shop, I like that the shops here, like that we've been able to film in, like have stories to them, you know, because like they're often like family owned or smaller business so uh, there's apparently I believe three brothers in this family and they have branches of this store in three cities in Egypt and each brother runs a different branch so when we walked in here to film we just asked you know who's in charge here and one of the brothers came up to us, the brother that owns this branch or works at this branch and he was so quick to say yes please please film and he shared his story a bit and so I will put um, the details about his shop in the description box below. But it's just a simple shoes, shoe shop, um, I'd say primarily shoes, there's definitely a good amount of purses as well but lots of kind of fancy shoes. Ooh, I like super like funky, quirky, unique shoes also. So if you're looking for something like that this might be a good place to come. I'm starting off with more of the um, kind of like fancy shoes I guess you could say. Lots of beading and sparkly bits. These boots were like decked out. These are like some kind of like fancy sneakers. Tall, tall boots. Those look really cool. And it's like a tiny little shop. It's just like a little square right on the corner. And like if you're living in this area of Egypt near Zamalek, this is in a city called Zamalek, which we've been doing a handful of videos in recently, walkthroughs like this. Um, but yeah, if you're looking for a shoe for a wedding or something, or something kind of fancy that fits with your style, and if you see something here, you can check them out. This is one of those shops where like, I really, really wish it could be quieter, but at the same time, there's so, there were so many good textures on all these shoes that it was like, okay, the good textures are overruling the bad location with the honking. And I mean like, regarding filming, it's not a bad location, it's actually a great location for a storefront. 
but in terms of filming I probably typically wouldn't choose a store that had this much as much noise but the items were just so good I wanted to I wanted to let you hear these sounds this purse is so good But yeah, this is pretty much what daily life sounds like in, in many parts of Egypt. This is a nice one. So now, if I'm not mistaken, what you're hearing in the background is, it's called the call to prayer, which is like five times a day, like, um, basically, uh, you're hearing this call to prayer from a, a nearby mosque, but the Quran reciting you're hearing is just coming from the store. Check out these blingy, like, high-heeled tennis shoes. So many good sounds. Some pink ones. Got a rose color. And a gold version. Do any of you like see that and go like, I want that shoe. I'm so curious. Tell me if you're like, yes, that's me. Those, those high heeled tennis shoes that are blinged out. This one was interesting. It kind of has like a wrap around the ankle with those beads. Some boots and black and white and a tan color here. This is a shoe, like that's the like quote unquote tongue of the shoe and it has like that kiss in like fake diamonds. Yeah, if you like blinged out shoes, this is the place for you. Lots of options. And I feel like I see people wear things like this at weddings in Egypt or like Maybe a formal event of sorts. So, um, this section's got some like really kind of epic, fun, playful tennis shoes. These have the Eiffel Tower on them. These colour ones, like colourful ones, are super bright. They're like full blown neon. This one's more tan or cream. more tennis shoes that kind of have like a really, I don't know, multi multiple like design elements on them at one time. So here are a few more purses. They actually did have a lot of purses, it was a bit hard for me to reach some of them for tapping on because some of them were higher up. But they did have a good amount of purses.
Look at this. It's like um, a light pink colored bag and I just, I don't know, I love this metal on the side. Not that I wouldn't choose to use a bag like this, but I like the design of that. Reminds me of like a lantern or something. This purse just sounds amazing. I could do a whole video with just this purse. Thing going enough. We were just at the point where there's so many noises that I just <laughs> left it in. A clutch. They had a number of clutches as well. of anything though so I can't really give you like a price point of this place but it's just like right on the corner of um, uh, what's it called? the 26th of July that street and like there are like two petrol stations there it's like I don't know the name of the street but it's like um, next to the petrol station across from the petrol station on the 26th of July bridge that's the name of the bridge for those of you that aren't in Egypt different places and streets in Egypt are named after important dates historical events okay you guys Thank you so much for joining me for this quick shoe and purse tap through. Again, so sorry about all the honking and sounds, but I hope you enjoyed all these unique shoes. Okay, bye for now.